please use the Appify MCP to scrape this YouTube video and come up with five startup ideas based on the video. Not only that, I want you to scrape the comments as well. Find some pain points and some messaging and hooks that we could use for a Facebook ad. So I'm gonna paste in a link to a YouTube video by Greg Eisenberg that he did recently on Google VO3. And what's going on here? Inside of N8N, I am gonna be able to chat with the Appify MCP and all of the Appify scrapers that I want. So what I did is I just sent a chat to my agent in plain English, and I'm asking it to go out, scrape the YouTube video, and also scrape the comments, come up with some startup ideas based on this Google VO3 video, and go through the comments and find some pain points and some angles that we could maybe use in some Facebook ads. So what you can see is going on behind the scenes is that my agent is using this Appify MCP, which has access to a couple of different actors here, including scraping YouTube, scraping YouTube comments. And in just a few seconds, what we should see is a full breakdown of this YouTube video and also the comment section. All right, so you can see my agent has finished up and we've got this video analysis of Greg's interview about Google VO3. And then we've got five startup ideas based on the video, VO script, viral VO academy, AIcommercial.co, consistent cast, VO metrics. This is all based on this YouTube video that Greg did with PJ about Google VO3. And not only that, remember in my prompt, I asked it to go through the comments and come up with some pain points. So there's a lot of comments about technical frustration, the cost because VO3 is so expensive, character consistency, age barrier, skepticism in quality issues. And so now we have some Facebook ad messaging and hooks that we can use on our ads about how you can use VO3 to film a commercial for $500 instead of spending $500,000. And we've got these other hooks here about speed to market and how you can convert people who were skeptical about AI and how you can build high quality commercials without having a huge budget. And we're able to do this all inside of N8N, just using the AI agent in the chat node. And we're able to chat with our Appify actors just using natural language. And so in this video, I wanna show you how to hook up the Appify MCP server inside of N8N so you can start talking to all of these Appify scrapers and get it to do things like scrape YouTube or TikTok or Instagram and generate insights from the content in the comments from those platforms. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build out this very straightforward but very powerful AI agent in N8N. And it, we're, again, we're gonna use the Appify MCP server. Don't worry, I'll show you how to set this up. It's actually really easy. So again, the idea behind this is normally when we use Appify inside of N8N, we're using it as part of an automation, right? So we're gonna provide it, for example, with a list of predetermined TikTok accounts, and we're gonna configure Appify in an automation to scrape X, Y, and Z, right? So it's very step one, step two, step three. In this video, we're able to just chat with Appify. We can chat with any of their actors or any of their scrapers in natural language and get a ton of insights, again, from YouTube or TikTok or Instagram. So the use case here is, again, marketing insights inside of N8N in natural language. All right, so to get started, you do need a Appify account because you're gonna need an Appify API key. And just to level set here for a second, if you're watching this video, chances are you know what Appify already is, but if you're new to the channel, it's basically a marketplace of all of these different web scrapers that you can use. So this is the homepage here, and they're just showing a couple, right? You, we can scrape TikTok, so you can scrape videos, hashtags, in transcripts, you can scrape Google Maps, you can scrape Instagram, you can scrape any website, you can scrape Amazon, right? So again, it's kind of a marketplace of web scrapers that's really, really cool. And so you need a free Appify account to at least get started. And of course you're gonna need N8N. All right, so inside of N8N, we're gonna start with an AI agent. So let me just hit on the plus sign and let me just grab an AI agent right onto my canvas here. Now we're gonna set this system prompt up in just a second. And the system prompt is actually gonna be incredibly important, which tells the agent how to behave. And most importantly, 
what tools to use. But let me just click out of the agent for right now. So you can see this is gonna start with a chat message. So we're able to just chat with our agent to use Appify. Now, what we wanna do next is first give our agent a brain, which is the chat model. So we need to select a chat model. For AI agents, I have been a big fan of using Anthropic models. I just think they're built better for AI agents. So I'm gonna use Anthropic as my model, but you can use whatever model you want. Now I am gonna give my agent some memory here, just in case we wanna go back and forth and, and chat over multiple conversations with our agents. So on memory, I'm gonna hit plus, I'm gonna click on simple memory, and then we'll keep the context window or how many past interactions at five. And by the way, if you want access to this NNN template along with the prompt, be sure to check out my free school community that's linked below. We have over 1,600 builders inside of this community. And how it works is you can click into the classroom. You can find the latest YouTube video in the classroom. And I am going to provide the N8N template that you can just import into your account, as well as any prompts or any docs included in the video. All right, so for the next step with our AI agent, we're going to be giving it a tool. And that tool is going to be access to Appify's MCP server. And kind of the way to think about this MCP server is that it's like a bridge that allows our AI chatbot inside of N8N to trigger Appify's web scraping actors on demand. So you can ask questions in plain English and get live data back automatically. That's, that's basically how this Appify MCP server is working with N8N. So going back to N8N, we're gonna add this as a tool attached to the AI agent. So if you click on the plus sign here and search for MCP, what we want is this MCP client tool, right? So connect tools from an MCP server. And you're gonna be hit with this field right here and I'll explain how to fill this in. All right, so what we can do is let's just rename this to Appify MCP. And what we need here is an SSE endpoint or a URL to connect to the Appify MCP server. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So inside of these Appify docs right here, so we're not using Claude, so we're gonna scroll past that. This is what we want right here. Interact with the MCP server over SSE. And what we want to grab first here is the URL or the beginning of the URL. So I'm actually gonna go into this Google doc and, and show you what my URL looks like. And I'm gonna kind of break this down into three different sections. So the first part in yellow is the base URL, right? Which is coming directly from these Appify docs. So it's this part of the URL, mcp.appify.com slash SSE. That is what is here in yellow. Now, after that, we wanna specify which actors we want our MCP to have access to inside of NANet. And to signify that, what you wanna type in is this question mark and then actors and then equal sign, which is what I have highlighted here in green, okay? And now after that, this is where you decide what actors or what scrapers you wanna give NAN access to, and it's this part in blue. And now I wanna explain this part of the URL right here, because this is three different scrapers attached to one URL, and I'll explain this in just a second. First, I wanna explain that you can put multiple actors in one URL separated by comma. So you can see I have two commas here because I have three different scrapers. Now, where do you get this part of the URL, right? So this is my Instagram scraper. This is my YouTube comment scraper. And then this is my YouTube video scraper. So if we go back inside of Appify, all right, so I'm on the home page here. Now let's say I wanted to equip this NNN agent with this TikTok scraper, right? If you just click in to the actor that, you're, that you wanna use, you can see this is the part of the URL that I was using. It's this Clockworks backslash TikTok scraper. So Clockworks is kind of the publisher here and TikTok scraper is the name of this actor. And you can see you're able to copy this, right? So if I were to go back to my URL right here, now let's say I wanted to add 
that TikTok scraper, I would just do comma and let me paste that in. And now I've got a TikTok scraper as well. All right, so this is how you build out the URL. So what I can do is actually grab this entire URL, go back into N8N and now put this as my SSE endpoint. Now, let me just open this up as an expression. So this is the same thing that I was just showing you in Google Docs, right? So this is kind of the beginning of the URL. Then we've got the question, actor equals, and then everything after that, you are gonna use this little ID of whatever scrapers you want, right? You can do for anything that you want. There's thousands of scrapers and they all have their unique ID. So you just include them at the end of your URL like I have up here. All right, so we still need to authenticate the Appify server, right? We need to tell Appify that we actually have an account with them. And so under authentication, what you need to do is go down to bearer auth, and then you need to add your Appify credential. So you can see I already have mine here, but just go to create new credential. You can rename yours. So call yours Appify. And then you just come into your Appify account settings. And then you can see there's an API and integrations tab up here. I'm not going to click into mine and reveal my key, but you can find your API key in this tab. Then you just go back into N8N, you paste your API key right here, and you hit save. Now, when you do that, what's gonna happen is you will have now a dropdown under credential for bearer auth named Appify. And now you're able to connect to your account. Now, N8N gives you another option here to exclude or include certain tools. I'm not gonna go over that in this video because we're specifically adding the actors that we want for this flow. So I'm gonna leave tools to include on all. All right, so for our agent, we've got our chat model, we've got our memory, and we've hooked it up to Appify. But we have one very, very important step that we still need to do, and that is to give our agent a really good system prompt, okay? So this system prompt is gonna tell our agent how to behave, and, and most importantly, what tools it has access to with this MCP and how to utilize those tools. So I'm gonna open this up and under options, I'm gonna select system message. Now I have this giant prompt over here that ChatGPT helped me create. And again, this is gonna be specific to an Instagram scraper, a YouTube scraper, and a YouTube comments scraper. Again, you can grab this prompt template for free inside my community. It's just at the link below, but I'm just gonna copy this and then go back into N8N, and then I'm gonna open this up as an expression just so I can see it, and I'm gonna paste in this full prompt right here. So again, this is kind of giving it operating rules. It's telling it what tools it has access to, what those tools do, when to use those tools, how to call a tool, how to answer, okay? So a really good system prompt is gonna help your AI agent take advantage of the tools that we're giving it. So let's just click out of here. And I think we're ready to test the functionality of this agent and the Appify MCP. So again, in my example, I've got YouTube and I've got Instagram. So I'm gonna grab a different video here from Greg. So this is a podcast he did with Steph Smith. It got 300,000 views and 2,800 comments. So what I can do is just grab this URL. I'm gonna come back into N8N and we can open up a new chat and say something like, use the Appify MCP to scrape this YouTube video and tell me the five AI startup ideas that Steph Smith talks about. And then I'll just paste in the YouTube link and now I'm gonna hit send. And what we should see is we should see our agent eventually hit this Appify MCP tool. All right, so you can see it's doing it right now. And if I open up the logs, we can kind of see what's going on in real time where the agent access its memory and then the chat model and then the Appify MCP. And it's, it's kind of tough to see on my screen with all these columns, but we can see that it's grabbing this specific URL. Then it's sending that back to the Anthropic model and to the system prompts. And now you can see our agent has come back with the answer over here, right? So here are the five AI startup ideas Steph Smith discusses. Open Pages Creator, Integrated Health Dashboard, Directory GPTs, AI-powered dating app, and personal website 
Knowledge Hub. So we're able to just drop in a YouTube link and really chat with the video. All right, let's try it with a different video and let's try a kind of a two-step prompt here. So I'm gonna take this video from the Andrew Huberman Clips YouTube channel about how to invest dopamine and motivation for drive. So let me open up my agent here. Let me just refresh my chat and say, use the Appify MCP server to summarize what this YouTube video is about. And then I also want you to scrape the YouTube comments and try to find some pain points and messaging that we can use to develop a product and run some Facebook ads. And then let me paste in the link here and let's fire that off and see if our agent is able to utilize both scrapers from Appify, right? So we've got the YouTube scraper itself, which is gonna scrape the video, but we also gave it access to a YouTube comment scraper. So in our logs over here, you can see first it's gonna use this scraper right here, which is the regular YouTube scraper. You can see the name here. And now you can see it's using the comment scraper. So the agent was able to determine that it needed to be able to call both tools. And again, that comes back to having a really good system prompt. All right, so our agent is done running. It hit up both of those Appify scrapers. So we've got a video summary and comment analysis. So again, it reframes dopamine as an investment opportunity rather than quick hits, challenging the common dopamine addiction narrative with a more nuanced spend versus invest framework. So we've got a nice summary here, key video insights. Again, we've got the main concept. It's telling us how the video performed, the content focus, the target audience. And now it's pulling out pain points and messaging opportunities from the comments. So we've got these primary pain points identified, chronic mental fatigue, anxiety and mental health struggles, focus and attention problems, lack of sustainable motivation, and now it's gonna give us these Facebook ad messaging frameworks with hooks, pain point messaging, solution positioning, and audience targeting if we were to have a product in this niche. So I think there's a lot of really cool and interesting use cases with MCP and NAN and specifically with the Appify MCP just because there's so many different scrapers. If you wanna chat, with real-time data. I think it's a really, really good opportunity here. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. It really helps me out. See you in the next one.